Hello, my name's Fiona Basil and I'm a photojournalist from Australia. I thank you all for your presentations today. Um, you've all touched upon wanting to prevent um, violence against women by men. And I'm just wanting to ask about, in this digital culture, where young people particularly are spending a lot more time um, behind screens and on the internet, what is being done about pornography and the access to pornography? Because it's quite a big problem. And I know in Australia we're doing research and it's a multi-billion dollar industry. And particularly for young boys, um, where they're being groomed or um, there are sites where you go onto games and in a couple of clicks you go onto pornography sites. So I'm just wondering what can be done about this because it's integral to educating young boys and, and men. It's part of the problem, I think. Uh, anybody else at this stage? Or shall we um, let the ministers um, and the panelists take a stab at this issue? Media? Well, thank you for first minister from uh, the Netherlands. It was a very good, uh, sharp comment you made. Uh, and I totally agree with you on everything you said. Uh, also that the violence against women and girls uh, also uh, has an effect on or is a side of, of the coin when it comes to the violence against LGBT, which is lesbian, um, gays, and bi, and <laughs> yeah, transgender. Yeah, so you, you are, this is because of, because it has to do with accepting sexual identity, sexual norms, sexual roles, um, or gender roles, and that they can vary. They don't have to be like one standard. Uh, and we also see a lot of violence against the, uh, these people in Norway, people with a different sexual orientation than, than uh, the majority. Um, when it comes to the media, you mentioned it, and uh, Fiona Basel mentioned it, when it comes to pornography. I think it's difficult to know the answer, but we're going to uh, make young people in Norway um, uh, we're going to integrate them into making a campaign against rape in Norway. It's a part of an action plan. And the youngsters are going to be part of this plan. And I'm very uh, curious about how they will uh, take the ch their chance to, to, uh, to um, uh, form this campaign. What will be their focus? Because I think we have to involve them and ask them what they feel is the problem. And I, I think that uh, the internet and the media will be a crucial point. And also we should, we should uh, make those who, who own the medias and the journalists and, and the editors more responsible for what's happening in the media. And also there is the gender issue is crucial there because most of those who own the medias, most of those who earn from the medias and most of those who work as journalists and most also of the sources that they use to interview when they interview people are men. So it's a man's world. So we have to address this as a gendered arena. And uh, well, I would like to go back to Norway and see how can we approach this, but uh, to do it uh, while uh, bringing the young people themselves into this debate so that this isn't only a grown-up debate, it's, all, it's from the young, young ones themselves. Thank you, Minister uh, Next is uh, Minister Sarian, I think. Thank you. Uh, this is uh, something about uh, Fiona Bessel, you <coughs> mentioned that, uh, and also uh, Christine about sexual violence and pornography. Actually, our side event yesterday was also about uh, sexual, uh, sexual violence and uh, the portrayals of, uh, of women in the media. And I don't have any solutions, but one thing I, uh, I said yesterday was, and I was, actually I was quite shocked about that, and that 
actually just shows that you have a point, and also you, Christian, that in Denmark, 97%, 97% uh, of all boys between 12 and 14 years old have watched uh, pornography, and uh, 50 pr 15% uh, have started watching it when they were nine years old. So actually, we are facing, a, I think, a big challenge right now. Um, the problem is we can't just shut it down because this is cross-border also. Uh, and this is not, uh, like I said yesterday, this is not and should not be, a, uh, not right now, uh, be a discussion about uh, banning uh, porn or not. But this is uh, about how uh, do, we, uh, do we protect our boys because I think this is a, a uh, a matter of protection also because uh, I'm I really agree with Christian uh, because when they see that you can uh, that you can treat uh, girls and women like that of course uh, in my universe uh, I think that they'll take it uh, with them in their relationships and we also saw in Denmark that some girls when you are talking about date violence and yeah they think that it's okay they don't know their limits they think it's okay that if their boyfriends just slap them once or twice. And for me, it's again uh, that the, the, the limits are, are moving. This is a, a, a new uh, kind of problem. And uh, we discussed it last year also. And in the meantime, I asked my, I've got two boys, one girl. I asked my eldest son, he's 13 now. Uh, last year, I asked him uh, that if he had watch pornography? He said no. Uh, but when I checked the computer, um, um, it wasn't, uh, in fact, the, the truth. But of course, he would say no. I also said no <laughs> when I was a kid. But so this is, uh, I think, I, I, and I think that number is 97% is really a high uh, number. And, and we have to keep on uh, bringing this subject uh, next year and next year again, because right now I don't think we have any solutions beside parents are helping their kids and schools are engaging teachers and uh, keep on uh, talking about uh, uh, th these kind of uh, uh, violence uh, in, in <coughs> pornography and also clubs and so on and teachers and uh, pedagogues. So I think that's the solution right now. Thank you very much, Minister. Ms. Asker is dotted. Uh, well, there has been a huge debate in, in Iceland about uh, uh, pornography and the effect of, of pornography. And, and what the min Minister of Interior has suggested that uh, s some kind of uh, restrictions or a ban on, on pornography should be tried. And, and uh, and I can tell you that th this is like entering a, a, a minefield. You know, there is so much opposition and, and, and uh, out outrage because, uh, you know, and I talk about th that this is an attack on the free freedom of, of speech, freedom of expression, and, and, and so on. But actually, I, I think that most people, they have no idea about the, the content of the pornographic world. I, I think that, that when, when I'm uh, talking about this, that we, we need to stop this somehow, that, that people think that uh, we w want to, you know, have a, have a ban on, on, on Playboy or, or Hustler or, you know, something like that. But, uh, you know, th this world is, is horrific. And, and we had a visit in Iceland from a specialist called, uh, an American specialist called Gail Dines. And she, her, her lecture was broadcasted on, on the internet. She the <laughs> The what the techniques can do, and and you know it was really horrifying. Um, among other things, she, she was showing us the so-called stepdaughters' pages, where men are encouraged to abuse their stepdaughters. You know, the stepdaughters—they are just waiting for their their stepfather, and 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 so on. This this is really really horrifying, and, and the so-called gonzo porno, which where two or three men are torturing torturing women. So, so th this is what it is is about, and I'm sure that there, there are some ways, you know, like like some kind of barriers. We need uh, the t telephone companies need to come into this, 
you know, there, there, uh, there, there must, it must be possible somehow to close at least some of these sites. I, but I, I know it's difficult. I know it's very difficult. Thank you very much. Ms. Eval says uh, from Finland as well. So. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I agree. This is a very big problem. And I think in Finland we have still the culture of taboo to talk about uh, pornography in media. Uh, but as uh, our minister told earlier, not, not today, but yesterday, I think he, he told about, uh, talked about uh, that we are going to launch a campaign against sexual violence targeted at young people. Uh, making use of the social media and young people have been preparing this campaign too so we have engaging, engaged uh, young people a school class to prepare this campaign so that it will shoot them and it will be a, a, a thing for them so that's one thing we have done to to prevent this to have the young people in focus Next, Mr. Ar uh, Minister Arnholm. Thank you very much uh, because to all of you, because I think this is a political discussion when it is at its best. We have, we have really, f we are discussing a true problem and nobody has an answer. I think th this is really the, the right way to go about this because it's, I really think it's a hard question and it's, it's good to hear all of you saying, I really don't know, but let's start talking about it. For, for me, it, 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 it's also important to remember. When I was a kid, there was, there was such a thing as pornography, and there has always been such a thing as hatred against women. Now, these things have found a new channel. We must remember, it. before the internet, there was pornography, and, and Manu, you, I don't know if it was a slip of the tongue, but you also. No, we are, it's we, not a slip. <laughs> we, I mean, we must remember, it, we have a new channel, I think it, it, the channel really has, has um, in a progressive way, just made the problems much larger, but we, must, we mustn't focus only on the channel, because I think in, in, when we fight the channel, we are always bound to lose. We have to do, and it, the, I really like what you say about different campaigns, because we must, we must always strengthen the, the good part of, the, of, of each and everybody. I mean, there will always be porno pornography, and, and you, you watched it, I watched it, my son does. I, we, we really must be confident that we can meet that at the same time as we really discuss where can we draw the lines. Um, and and my, I, I'm really representing a country that ha has abolished buying sex, so I'm not against legislation when I really can see it's, it, it, it has something to, to, to really contribute. But when it comes to, to um, close down websites, and w w w there will always be problems. And, and I think in Sweden we have legislation that will make it uh, where a lot of things that you can see on the internet is forbidden. So, so I, there, sometimes it not, it's not a question of legislation, but about uh, the resources you put to find it and to, to really trace it down. I would only like to, to just add one no more Nordic good example of what you can do when it comes to media, because it's not only the, the dusky corners of internet it's also in in, in all media uh, on a, that is where masculinity in a bad way is is um, is monitored or, or is shown i think the public the the the, the thought or, or idea of public service of having a, a, a commonly financed media uh, as we have in, in many nordic countries with with television that that is that is uh, in, in the public service and, and that, we, that competes with other commercialized channel, channels and then, then provides uh, better 
quality, less uh, and less gender in unequal um, stuff. I, I think that I, I'm really happy that we have clinged on to the public service, and I think the public service in the media has a lot to contribute in this respect. Thank you. Thank you, Minister. Um, Minister Torkelsen would like to come in as well. Thank you. I was just, it was just a thought, but um, we have done something in Norway when it comes to what was called child pornography. We don't call it that. It doesn't, it's not called child pornography in, in the laws or uh, in the paragraphs. It's called uh, a display of child abuse, which is it, which it is. And just a question, but uh, since you mentioned uh, these forms of very violent pornography, one could think that uh, we can do something of, of the same thing, you know, that you don't call it pornography. This is actually display, display of rape, it's display of torture, it's display of violence. Uh, but then also we have to take this debate about pornography. What is it? it yeah, you know, <laughs> because we haven't been willing to to set different, or we, we're treating pornography as the same thing, you know? And that is a, a problem. It might be a problem. But I think that we might start by calling it something else. And also, we have this button that you can, or if, uh, if someone is coming into the site where there is a display, of, a display of child abuse, then there is an automatic warning. You're just uh, put onto the police. Uh, automatically, uh, so that and they s and this site says, are you aware that you are actually now at the site where there is child abuse? And you can think about those kind of m kinds of means to address this specific problem too, uh, because of course there will always be different kinds of channels uh, to uh, those who want this pornography. But I mean, the internet is so massive; it's really massive. And they're exposed to this from very early age, and it's very damaging. 